What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad Movie Review today to talk about Ghoulies from 1985. Yes, this one's going to be a fun franchise to deep dive because I did have a Twitter poll and also on my community page on my YouTube account I had the people voting for what the next franchise, horror franchise they wanted me to deep dive and Ghoulies got voted as the one to choose. This is going to be fun because this first film is the only one in the franchise that I've previously seen. So all the other other ones after this film will be first time watches for me so like i said this is going to be an exciting one let's get into the positives the negatives and the rad rating for ghoulies from 1985 roll it So yes, Ghoulies from 1985, obviously one of those films that kind of gets swept under the rug when it comes to, you know, small creature type films because we have Gremlins, we have Critters, we have a lot, a whole host of other films. We have, the Puppet Master eventually did come out too, so Ghoulies like kind of got swept in the whole hurricane of small monsters doing antics in movies and stuff like that. But this one centers around our lead character, Jonathan, who at the beginning of the film, his father Malcolm, tries to sacrifice him as a baby during a satanic ritual he is saved by a character named wolfgang and then raised separately of that satanic group doesn't know about his past but ends up inheriting the house from malcolm his father and then him and his uh, girlfriend rebecca go to the house they're having a party hanging out with their friends chilling drinking and all that stuff and they decide to do some fun rituals or satanic stuff during a party and he ends up summoning some interesting ghoulie type demons from the underworld so let's get into our positives right away. As one key positive is I love the whole magical element, the whole satanic ritual like element, like all that stuff plays into the horror nature of it, like you know what I mean, and all the mystical element and stuff. Also the design of our ghoulie characters, the way they look, the creatures, I like the designs of them. The puppetry work would be improved on and better used in other films, like like Puppet Master would eventually come out, I believe, four years after this film. And the puppetry work would be so much better and, like I said, done by the same kind of company. Charles Band and Richard Band and all them would be associated with that film. So a lot of the same people and, like, a lot better work done in that film. But, like I said, I could appreciate the creativity and the concept and also, like I said, the ideas that go along with this film. Also, we got to talk about sometimes there's, like, cool to see some memorable faces and, like, oh, look. Who was that right there? What? Right there? That's Mariska Hargitay. Yes, Mariska Hargitay is in this film. It's quite interesting when you look up and find out how many actors or actresses got their start or their first acting role in horror films or horror movies. So I really find that fascinating. Yeah, Mariska Hargitay in here. Seeing that familiar face is really cool. Also, the music in this film, I really do enjoy the music. It's done by Richard Band, and if you're a fan of the channel and you know me, I'm a huge Puppet Master fan. I ended up deep diving and talking about all the films on my channel and ranking them, and Richard Band does a majority of the music for those films, and I like the music choices he does. I like the compositions he does, so yes, the music in here is right up my alley. I could also appreciate what they did with the third act and the swing they took. Like I said, they go for it in the third act. It does take a long time to get there, but when it does get to the last 12 minutes, they take some swings. There's some really cool kills and some really cool antics, and I like what they go for. But like I said, does this film stick the landing? Is it uh, something I really loved watching or I enjoyed? Yeah, hardly yet to say that's all the positives I really had with this film. Now let's get into the mixed and negative section. So with the mixed and negatives, one huge thing that I must talk about is that this character right here, I think it's Peter Le Lepius, Lepius, sorry if I butchered that last name, but I'm going to call him Discount Eric Roberts. Totally do not buy him as the lead and for carrying this movie. I think it's just awful. Like I said, very cringeworthy. A lot of the scenes he's in and I find it hard to care about his character or anything like that. So when it comes to character development or character arc or anything like that, I'm not invested with this character. So another thing is this build. This is billed as a horror comedy, and I really need some more horror in this film. It takes about 50 minutes, like all the way to the 50-minute mark for some really horrific stuff and like some kills and antics to go down with the ghoulies, and that's just way too long. Besides our kill that happens in like the first seven minutes, it takes a very long time for anything else to really take off. And in terms of the comedy element of this film, I really didn't find myself laughing in here at all. 
And this is one of those films that I think it's a prime example of having nostalgia really helps out. Being introduced to this film at a younger age would probably help out my views and my positivity and my thoughts on this film because this is a film that I think the first time I ever saw it, I think I was like 18, 17 or 18. I was like in my late teens the first time I ever watched this film and I've watched it a few times since then and I just, it's never really clicked with me. I've never really connected with it. Gremlins is a film, like I said, I got introduced to that at a very young age same thing with the puppet master i got introduced to that at a very young age critters and ghoulies are ones that i watched later in life and they're ones that i don't find as enjoyable as those other two and like i said that's probably because like i said nostalgia plays a heavy factor in liking this movie also there's a lot of stuff with this film that you can tell the like story rewrites and just i heard a lot of looking up and in information and in interviews and looking up information on this film that there was a lot of post-production problems and really getting this film pre-production getting it done and getting the money and funding the money to finish this film so you can really tell like when you watch the film that there are clunky parts in terms of the story and where they're going with the film and why it probably takes so long for some stuff to take off also this film was supposed to have a 3d element in the film but they ended up erasing that and scrapping that so yeah there's a lot of elements of this movie that you can see that they had grandiose ideas but they just kind of scrapped them right away or didn't execute on them these are just my thoughts and my opinions on ghoulies please let me know down below in the comments section what you think of this film and in terms of a rad rating because i know you all came here what is the rad rating for ghoulies from 1985 in my book i'm going to give it a six out of ten i still get that above average rating because of the concept the design of the ghoulies and that music i'm a sucker for that music but like i said there's still some elements that they could definitely improve on so we're going to see with ghoulies 2 and ghoulies go to college and ghoulies 4 are they're going to be able to improve on this formula and how are my feelings going to be on those sequels but please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i post a video because like i said we're going to be tackling this ghoulies franchise i got some anime horror films i'm still going to be talking about as well and also some courage the cowardly dog deep dives with my buddy steve i'm going to be having another episode dropping i believe next uh, wednesday or thursday i'll be having another episode of that drop not not this week the next week after that sorry i know this is video is probably going to come out on wednesday it's going to be the wednesday coming up after that so yes stay tuned to the channel be sure you're subscribed and all that kind of stuff and most importantly you all know what's up have a safe and happy day peace out